All right. Evolve is coming out this October, and they've already announced two of the playable monsters that you're going to be able to stalk your minuscule opponents with. First, there's the Bruiser-type monster, the Goliath, and then there's the lightning-summoning Cthulhu-inspired beast, the Kraken. But what else? What other types of monsters could roam the vastness of sheer, only sated by the nourishment that Hunter Blood can provide? Here are my top five monsters I'd like to see in Evolve. Five. First of all, a foreign planet inhabited by vicious wildlife and giant nightmare creatures seems like it should be home to a poisonous beast that was entirely based on venom. Think a giant Venomancer from Dota 2. I'm sorry to reference that game again, but it's the closest thing I can think of. Its abilities would all be poison-based, causing damage over time and other various inhibiting effects. For instance, the Venom Monster would be able to leave bile bombs that would trigger on proximity, covering their victims in viscous goo that would deal damage and limit mobility for a certain time period. When surrounded, the Venom Monster could excrete a giant cloud of toxic mist that would obscure vision and also do dot damage. The basic attack for the Venom Monster would be a ranged acid spit, and its strength would be in its ability to control Hunter's movement while doing damage from afar. Its weakness would be any up-close and personal combat. Poisonous things are always scary, right? Put it in there. Four. In the same vein as the Poison Monster, as far as not being able to fight up close, would be a stealth-based monster that specializes in hit-and-run tactics and various tricks to frighten and confuse its enemies. Think of a much larger predator. In addition to its ability to cloak or camouflage with Shear's environment, the stealth monster would have the ability to set traps for the hunters. Divide and Conquer would be the name of the game for this creature, so it would have ways of throwing off the scent or leading the hunters to where it wanted to fight. If things did get up close and personal, it could release a hallucinogenic toxin that would cause any affected hunters to see multiple illusions of the monster. Finally, it would deal deadly melee attacks, dealing ferocious amounts of damage, assuming it got the jump on its prey. Hunters would have to worry if that flock of birds was accidentally triggered or if it was done intentionally to lure them to their doom. Three. Up next would be a giant worm. I didn't think of a better name to call it, whose strength would be in its ability to burrow and completely take single enemies out of a fight at strategic moments. Think that giant worm thing from Gears of War. This pulsating larva would be equipped with razor sharp fangs and its slimy mucus covered body would be able to climb any surface in Shear's harsh habitat. The worm would be able to burrow underground for short periods of time and then, like a land version of a great white, be able to come up from underneath the ground and swallow members of the hunter team whole. These hunters would be trapped in cysts that would appear on the monster's body and they'd slowly be digested unless their teammates could pop them out and set them free. Death via digestion. That sounds just absolutely horrendous. At least you could say you went out like Boba Fett? Coming in at the number two spot would be an interesting addition to the game as it wouldn't be a gigantic monster sort of like all the other ones. This monster would be a parasite that could infest into any of the wildlife on the surface of Sheer, mutating them into even more monstrous versions of themselves and increasing their size and strength. Sort of like John Carpenter's The Thing. It would need an empty vessel to become monstrous. If the host creature died, the hunters would also have to kill the parasite that was inside of it. To make it fair, it would uh, probably have to be like a human size so that it wasn't impossible to kill between hosts, but I think that would be pretty awesome. While infested in a creature from the shadows, this parasite would also have the ability to shoot out a tendril that would pierce a hunter, causing them to lose control of their movement and abilities to the monster until their teammates were able to separate the tendril from the hunter's back. The parasite would have a couple stock abilities, but also gain different ones depending on what creature it was inside of. I don't know about you, but parasites terrify me, and the idea of one that could take control of me is just plain disturbing. What? Finally, at the number one spot, the monster I'd like to see most is a Cloverfield-type monster with smaller parasite-type monsters that it could control. This particular one would have the ability to plant eggs inside of dead wildlife carcasses to hatch more minions. While these insect-like minions would follow the monster, they'd behave like NPCs attacking nearby wildlife and or hunters on their own. The monster would have the option to spray single enemies, though, with pheromones that would cause all the minions to execute a coordinated attack on a single target. Also, if the host monster was taking too much damage, much like General Ram in Gears of War, the monster would be able to call its minions to them, using them as extra body armor while it sought cover. Limiting the number of minions the monster controlled would be imperative for the hunter's survival. There you guys have it, my top five monsters I'd like to see me evolve. I know that was a little outside the box, but it was something I was really excited to talk about, so there you have it. Let me know what you thought of the monsters I created in the comments, or tweet me at SoHinky, and let me know if you guys have any ideas for monsters that you'd like to see. I'll see you guys next time. 
If you enjoyed those top five monsters, perhaps you'd enjoy another top five monsters I did where I was talking about my favorite monster games. Also, be sure to check out our most recent Honest Game trailer that we did on Call of Duty Modern Warfare.